Hello and welcome everyone to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be covering the newest update for Modern Warfare coming this week, including some Warzone changes, as well as some teases towards Warzone Season 5 that was just recently unveiled, and then we're going to be transferring over to some Call of Duty 2020 news. Today's video is going to be chock full of Call of Duty content, so don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already for more up-to-date Call of Duty news, information, and leaks here on the channel. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so starting things off with the Modern Warfare weekly update in terms of game modes, this week we're going to be getting Shoot the Ship 24-7 in multiplayer, as well as 3v3 snipers only gunfight, and also returning is going to be the very fun Reinfected Ground War, which of course is infected on a grand scale on Ground War maps. In terms of Warzone, this week we are going to get a limited time mode returning in the form of Duo Stimulus. Previously, we got Trio Stimulus for Warzone, and if you guys are not yet familiar with Stimulus, Stimulus is a much faster version of Warzone where you can buy yourself back into the game. Basically, there is no Gulag system. If you die with at least $4,500 in your inventory, you automatically buy yourself back into the game. It's very intense and fast-paced game mode, and if you're somebody who likes to rack up as many kills as you can in a single game of Warzone, I definitely do recommend that. Coming in with that is also going to be solos, duos, trios, and quads. It's pretty much going to be standard for the rotations of game modes, and plunder this week is going to be quad mode. In addition to this, I also do expect expect the fourth week of intel missions to be dropping with this update, either the night of the update or simultaneously with this update. Of course, keep up with the channel in order to get a guide on those intel missions when they do come out, but they have been bi-weekly. They used to be a weekly thing, like they'd have week one, week two, week three, week four. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be like that anymore. It is on that bi-weekly basis. So on the timetable, we should definitely be getting intel week for this week, sometime either the night of Tuesday, the update, or early Wednesday morning. Speaking about Warzone though, we did get our first Season 5 teaser today from Nick Merckx over on his live stream, who presumably got his content either straight from Activision or Infinity Ward, kind of unsure on that, but he is a Call of Duty partner, so of course this information is official and accurate. And of course, I do have that footage for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage for you guys to view. I'll turn my camera off so you can see everything. Chopper comes in from the left, ground shakes, trains like Hurr. August 5th, 10.46. Now is that like PM or AM type of vibe? Because we need to be on for that. Okay guys, so just a quick little breakdown of that video. There wasn't too much to take in, but what we did see was a train, which is something we have been speculating on for quite a while, so it does seem that there will be a train driving around Verdansk on the start of Season 5, and we also did get the tentative release date of Season 5 being August the 5th of 2020. We're not too far out from that, we're about two and a half weeks out, so it's really exciting that we'll be getting some fresh content starting in that season. The biggest takeaway from this is that they have basically confirmed at this point that season 5 will be dropping with the train working and fully functional on the map. This has been something that we have been speculating on and talking about pretty much since season 4 dropped when the train tracks were originally added to the Warzone map and on top of that we started getting the intel missions which started pointing towards a train. In week 2 of the Warzone intel missions is actually the earliest that we saw the mention of the train and basically week 2 sent us on a chase across Verdance to locate the wolf or actually the wolf at that point was Khaled al-Assad. Throughout the missions we chase and try to figure out exactly how the attack on Verdansk went down. And throughout our search we were brought to an abandoned Al-Qatala meeting area in which they left us a post-it stating that they intended to catch a train at a certain time over at the local train station. At the end of week two we figure out that the train itself was cancelled and it was actually hijacked for the cargo on the train and the cargo turned out to be gas. 
In terms of the Warzone storyline, it does seem that that train was a very pivotal part of the actual plot, so we'll have to see throughout the next couple of weeks of Intel missions as well as the start of Season 5 exactly what kind of impact this will have on the overall storyline as well as the gameplay. The speculation right now for the actual trains is that they will function much like Apex Legends trains, where the train will constantly go around the map and you'll be able to get on the train at different stops, and there will be loot on the train for people to capture. Other rumors and leaks that I have personally heard of Season 4 and I have covered previously is that we will see the return of other operators into the game, most notably Farah, as well as two returning weapons from the Call of Duty series, being the R700 from Call of Duty 4, as well as the AN94 from Black Ops 4, which brings us into our next topic of Call of Duty 2020, which is a big topic of discussion for this next upcoming season. As many people are speculating, including myself, I am on that bandwagon, that season 5 is going to be the huge season for Modern Warfare that is going to result in the actual release and announcement of Call of Duty 2020 content, and we will have to hunt it down within Warzone. One of the biggest pieces of evidence that does point towards the Call of Duty 2020 reveal coming throughout Warzone is of course the recent data mine that Woods from the Black Ops storyline is actually within the files of Modern Warfare 2019. So it appears at this point that Woods is going to be a playable character either late into season 5 or even into season 6 within Warzone, probably around the time the pre-orders go live for the next Call of Duty game, which is rumored to be in development right now by Treyarch with help from Sledgehammer Games. Right now, I do believe Season 4 is still that filler season, but I still think within Warzone, there's just a little bit more that it's going to give us within the upcoming weeks. The biggest rumor circulating around right now is that the nuke bunkers are going to be activated within Season 5, and they're actually going to trigger some type of map changing easter egg. The most credible one thus far is that Stadium in some capacity is going to open, and one of the nukes are going to go off and either delete a part of the map or change a part of the map entirely. Last up today, we are going to talk about the data mined Call of Duty 2020 leaks that are actually coming from an alpha build of Call of Duty 2020. This alpha build was secret on the PlayStation and Xbox store, but have recently been uncovered as the Red Door. These have been data mined into, and players are unable right now to actually get in and play the game. However, people have pulled important strings of information from the game, including the names of the campaign levels, the multiplayer levels, as well as the zombies levels. Of course, these are all subject to change and these could just be code names, but the number one thing I do see from all of these leakers is that it seems like the internals of the game do in fact give you a Black Ops splash screen upon launching the game, and of course it gives you an error because you're not allowed into the game, so we do know at this point the game is probably going to be a Black Ops reboot, and additionally it seems like a lot of these leakers are finding out that the game might also be called Black Ops CIA. Getting into the leaked campaign levels, there seems to be a total of 13 campaign levels, with only 11 of them being actual main levels and two of them being side missions. The name of the campaign missions is as follows. KGB, a mission set in Russia. Siege, a mission also set in Russia. I'm probably going to botch this, but I'm going to go with Yamantu, which is going to be set in Russia. Takedown, which is a side mission. Tundra, which is also a side mission. Hub, which is set in Germany. Hub 8, which is set in Germany, Stakeout in Germany, Armada, which is set in Vietnam, Prisoner, which is set in Vietnam, Revolution, which is set in Nicaragua, this one says America, which is set in Russia, and Duga, which is also set in Russia. And of course, these are probably all code names for the levels, but what we do know at this point is that 11 of these are going to be main missions, and the game's also going to feature side missions. In terms of the actual multiplayer maps as well, we're going to get a grand total of 8 of those that are in the game right now, of course that is also subject to change, and those are going to be called Black Sea, Cartel, KGB, Miami, Moscow, Satellite, Tank, and Tundra. What you are going to notice from these maps is some of them share similarities with the campaign. Of course, these are all code names, and a lot of the multiplayer map are actually based off of campaign areas, which is pretty much historical for all Call of Duty games. So do not be worried at all. These are probably all internal code names, just so the developers know what they're talking about. And of course, by the time the game's out, they will all have finalized, unique names for multiplayer and single player as well. Of course, with multiplayer and single player, it wouldn't be a Treyarch game without the signature zombies mode. The map 
map's codename this year is going to be Silver, and Treyarch is pretty much known for just giving the codenames of Zombies map just colors, so this means pretty much nothing to us. And in addition to this, there's also going to be different zones that are mentioned within Warzone. Basically, how I'm going to explain this to you guys is that Warzone is made in zones or in areas. When they develop the actual Warzone map, the developers tend to zone off the map, so certain developers are only set to certain areas within the map. That of course is going to be called zones and different developers are going to be in charge of different zones across the map. This also has to do with weapon spawning and how the logic on the map works. But in total, they only found four zones for the actual war zone map, which could mean that these zones are very large or they've only been able to dig up a few of the zones on the larger war zone map. The four zones that have been located so far are going to be Duga, Forest, Russia, and Ski Slopes. Of course, these are once again all code names and have absolutely nothing to do with anything, but this does pretty much point out that we are going to get another massive Warzone map for Call of Duty 2020. Alright guys, so you should be basically all caught up at this point with everything this week in Call of Duty, including the brand new update, Call of Duty 2020 news, as well as Season 5 catch-up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'm just going to mention this briefly, I don't really bring up sponsors at all in my videos, but I am sponsored by Control Freak, and my code has been boosted to a 15% off. There's a bit of a creator's competition going on right now, so if you do use code PROREBORN at checkout at controlfreak.com, you guys can get 50% off your order and I use control freaks on basically all of my controllers I really recommend the dome shaped ones. That is my favorite I'm currently using the black ops 3 grab slam ones kind of have a little bit of an addiction to those With that being said guys I don't really endorse things on my channel unless I really do believe in it So if you're a supporter and you've been looking into getting control freaks, just consider it I'm not really begging or anything. Thank you guys so much for your support Honestly, I wouldn't even have been able to get that sponsorship if it wasn't for you guys with that all being said and done though Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see all of you guys in the next one